Hello, welcome to Lori's DIY Life. This is Lori. Tonight we're going to be making a decoupage card. We're going to use the Vintage Memory Spellbinders kit. And we're going to use these papers that I made yesterday. And let me see if I can... This one's got to leave print. These are background papers that we made just using some ink pads and stuff around the house. And I chose this one. And I don't know if you can see, but there's like pink and purple and blue in there. And I cut it down. The, the card size is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I cut this size down to four by five and a quarter. Okay, that's my mat. Now, I wanted to do decoupage. when As soon as I saw this set, my thought was... I want to decoupage this stuff. It's a vintage and it's beautiful. And I was so impressed. And so they they do have some die cuts that are kind of layered and decoupage looking. But I wanted to do my own. And so um, from two different papers, I took this bird with the roses and the butterfly and let me pull it up so you can see and I just fussy cut it around but I didn't go into detail okay then I cut out the bird and I went in closer to the bird and I kind of rounded him off to give him a little bit of texture and he will go there. And I got the rose, the big rose on top. And I kind of rounded that off. And that will fit like that on there. And then I got the butterfly and put a little bit of crimp to that and that's gonna go there and I just decided to do a little bit of something unexpected so I did this leaf now some people would have done the whole thing I like to do mine different I like to do bits and pieces just pop up a few things and a little bit of surprise with it okay then I went to another paper because they had two of the birds so I used those papers with the birds now what's left on the rest of that paper I'm going to keep for something else I did already put it away so I don't have it with me but then I have another sheet and this is all that I took out of the sheet and I you will see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put this down here. And then on this one. I've got. This flower. And it will go over here. And I've got. This flower. And it's going to go here. And I just got the one. All right. That's how it goes. Just that one leaf. Okay. And then I took this one and it's just some flowers that I'm gonna put here. And I wanted to show you 
this is the flower and I want you to see how I'm just going to take my finger nails and just kind of roll it on that paper. Now if you got tools and stuff you can do that but you know what sometimes it's just easier just to use your hand and I just want it to have a little a little bit of texture a little bit of something to make it stand out and that will go here and then I've got oh yes I went ahead and did this this is going to be the one with the third layer I'm actually going to do a three layer here is the one that goes here and I'll show you what you can do you can take and use something oh this is going to tear it up looks like I thought that was smoother it is smoother on the bottom but you can take and rub and rub and you can see it's a lot of work but it's given you that look now this is a process that I very rarely use I use it mostly for bigger flowers and you can see it rounded out that flower um, so yeah now some some places they sell balls that do this mm, I've never seen a point you could grab just about anything round and do it and I'm just gonna take the leaves and kind of give them a little crumple and then that's this flower so the only thing left now is to, to tape it all down. So I'm going to take first this, and I'm going to set my pieces over here on a white piece of paper so I don't lose them. Because, like this leaf, it's kind of small. Okay, and I'm going to foam dot a lot of this. So the first layer, and this is the way I do it. You find your own way and do it the way you want. Because everybody can do it their own way. I know some people think, oh, there's a right way and a wrong way. And you know what? This is craft and art. And you know what? I just, I just don't agree with that for this. What looks good to you, what makes you happy, that's the right way. Whatever method you want to use, however you get there, you know, do it. Every method that people use, somebody had to do first, somebody had to think of. So, in my opinion anyways and I'm gonna get my pokey tool to help me lift this tape up uh, I don't normally use tape I usually use a wet glue and so with these videos though it's a lot easier to use the tape and quicker and of course it comes with the kit so I want to show what you can do if you just get the kits and what you can accomplish and stuff with the kits so I use it but what I I mean I don't mind it it's it's nice and quick and I like that but I tell you what all these papers I gotta pick up these little bitty papers and stuff when I'm done taping these videos cracks me up I think me and I should have like a little trash can up here so that I don't have to keep 
I'm trying to remember which way this goes. Oh, there we go. Like that. And you can still go in and reshape a little bit if you want. Now I'm going to do something different this time with this butterfly. I don't want the whole butterfly stuck down. I only want to stick down his body. So I am going to pull glue in this time for this part. If this glue is not clogged up. And I just need a little dot. And I'm just going to stick it right there. Yeah, I don't want to stick his wings down. And then when it's had more time to dry, I'll come back and kind of form those a little bit better. Okay. And I'm going to do the bird. He's going to take two of them. And you could think, oh, she's out of those dots. No, I'm out of the pre-cut dots. But a lot of this stuff, whoops, i got to take that top off. A lot of these dots are kind of big for a lot of these things out in this small decoupage project. Anyways, so, uh-oh, I tweaked his beak back. Let's do that. And I want him to kind of look a little more rounded. So there we go. I don't want his head looking. And like I said, at the end, you can always come back and be a little careful with that beak. Okay, now, so some of these little things, I'm just going to snip and snip and that'll go on the back of the leaves <laughs> I thought the cover was off Oof. and uh oh scoot it Okay, so there's that one. Now, uh-oh, they should be over here. Over here, over here. Over here, over here, okay. And tape. Man, I haven't done decoupage in a long time, so... I like, you know, I really did used to like doing decoupage all the time, and I was doing a lot of scrapbooking back in the day, and of course with that 12 by 12 pages, they were a lot bigger, but, uh, These little cards are fun to do. Yeah, fun to do. Okay, and I need a pop dot. And I'm just going to cut a piece. And they're going to be hidden, so if the shape's not perfect or whatever, it doesn't matter. Nobody's going to see it. that there for a second. Okay, and I need a smaller piece again. 
And I'm just cutting the little pieces out of there. But they really do start to look different when uh, when you turn them. That's where it goes, right there. Once you you know kind of shape them a little bit, they start looking different. And and I'm not used to pulling them after. I'm used to shaping them and putting them right back on. So I'm going to put that one in there. And I like to sometimes choose pieces that most people won't. Like it's just, you know, they're like, oh, why would you pick that piece to pull out and showcase and, you know. I don't know why. I like to sometimes do the unexpected. It just, uh, I don't know. I just like to do that. I'm a very, everybody knows me. They know, you know, how I'm going to react to things and stuff. I'm very, uh, oh, why can't I think of the word? think of the word and it's an easy word to remember and I'm just not it's like right there in my head I'm very <sighs> let's just say you can always figure out what I'm gonna do right um tired I can't believe I can't remember that word But anyways, that's that's the way I am, and and so maybe this is my way of doing something about that. Maybe. Maybe subconsciously, I say, here, everybody, I'll surprise you whether you think I can or not predictable that's the word predictable I am a very predictable person so as you can see I chose this rose instead of the two together on the bottom I chose that one and then I chose the little one right here to do the third layer of and these pictures were kind of small and so it kind of made it hard to figure out a third layer but I did I did figure out what my third layer and I don't know what you think it looks a little busy maybe that should have been a little lower anyways I'm gonna stamp my settlement sentiment who you know I'm gonna try this brown and of course it's a little stamp I'm gonna use this little 
block. That brown looks like it might come out orange, but So many of my smiles begin with you. I got that a little tight, didn't I? Yeah, I think this was supposed to be up a little bit. This was my original plan, but there's the third flower. See? And like I said, you can come back. Now this is dried a little better. I can pull that butterfly up some more. <coughs> okay, I'm sorry about that. I have bad allergies and I've been draining, draining, draining. ready to go in there so you know what first speed right now because I really need to go get a drink or something I'm just gonna throw some glue on here real quick this paper is a little bit warpy looking but that's because I put water on card that wasn't made for water but you will see it gives me a chance to move it a little bit if I mess it up and I can stick it stick it and see that's not even so I'm just gonna stick move it just a nudge there we go And a lot of times they recommend, a lot of places recommend you use wet glue. And I guess it's a stronger hold or something. But I'm telling you, this this tape, this double-sided tape in these kits, then I have not, no problem with it. I don't, I don't see any trouble with it. And I still got that crooked. And I think it's too late to move it now. And it doesn't look crooked on the top. So I don't, I don't know, what do you think? Do we like the card? I'm not so sure. You know what? Sometimes you think less is more, but sometimes we just need to add to make it look like we're not worried about. Let me make sure these are and I'm going to take these Nuvo drops and add just a little bit. Just because there ended up being a lot, but not so much a lot. Where, let me see what this is. These are crystal drops. And the color is caramel cream. So it should kind of have a vintage look with the color. Because I'm just, gotta be careful. It looked like, oh, I'm still learning to use these drops and you just gotta go straight up. It's, um, it looks like there's too much, but not, it just doesn't look purposeful. So I'm hoping adding the drops 
we make it look a little bit more purposeful. All this time. Oh my gosh. I'm just. And yes, I'm adding a lot of them, and I'm adding a lot of them for a reason. Because there's so much stuff going on, but it doesn't look like I did it purposeful, so I need to add a lot of these. So then people think, hopefully what it'll look like is that I meant it to look like a lot. Will it work? I don't know. We'll try it and see. I think so. And I'm going to do the three, one. Two, three, there we go. Now what I want to say is, if you don't have the kit, and you want to try decoupage, you don't have to have a kit. You All you need is a picture that you have more than one print of, whether it comes out of a magazine, wrapping paper, anything like that. And you can make it work. So, I like it a lot better with the drops now. For some reason, it should look like too much. But to me, it looks better. I don't know. What do you think? I love those drops. I could just sit and look at those drops all day, but... Yep, I kind of like that. Okay. So please if like and subscribe to my channel. We will be working on more projects. We will be doing more background papers, making our own. We will be doing a lot of DIY projects. We will be checking out kits. We are going to have fun. So thank you, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.